The marketing is exceptional. I mean, if you look at the M4 and the hype around the M4, the M4 is an amazing processor. Probably one of the best processor series in the world. But when you compare it to an M3 or an M2 or an M1, it's not as big a difference as you might think. You know, you were sort of encouraged to get your, to roll your sleeves up, you know, and, and trick out your computers. Kind of. Once we got into the 90s, you know, that started to happen. Of course, in the 80s, Apple basically, you uh, know, Try to tell everybody, no, nope, can't do anything. I had a special, had to even get a special tool to crack, you know, those mm -hmm. original Macs. But yeah, certainly as we got into the '90s, it was. Pretty, it was I, I used the word fun. It was fun to be able to open these things up, swap processors. You know, obviously had memory. You had level mm -hmm. two cache that you know could transform a machine into, how to say, a, a powerhouse. From you know, it was nuts. You know what you could do and the impact of what you could do. And of course, that was in a day when we were all limited to spinning drives. I mean, it was. Mm -hmm. Less the processor, more the uh, the drives. I think that were the bigger bigger hit because you still had well, you had bottlenecks mainly on the I/O side. The processor could be you know pounding away at full speed, and you still were faster than a drive. And that stayed true pretty much up until. And again, a faster processor always made a difference. More memory made a difference because that allowed things to stay more with the processor as opposed to always being moved off to the drive. And then we got the solid state drives and you know that changed everything. Now we finally had an IO, a, a storage system that could keep up with the the processor. So it was, you could, you'd look in you know, from you know, 2010 forward. I mean, once you added an SSD, you know, it was pretty incremental the benefits you got from each processor generation. And now today with the, the, the M series, you know, Apple touts, you know, it's, it's really interesting. The marketing is exceptional. I mean, if you look at the M4 and the hype around the M4, the M4 is an amazing, you know, super fast processor. Arguably one of the best processor series in the world. But when you compare it to an M3 or an M2 or an M1, you know, and it, it's not as big a difference, certainly between M3 and M4 and even M2 and M4, depending upon which processors you're comparing as you might think. And then of course, Apple Intelligence is advertised everywhere. Any Apple M series can do Apple Intelligence. And probably more important, you know, if you're a photographer going from an M1 to an M4, it's a pretty, you know, the, the difference that you experience in processing uh, images is, is kind of hard to detect. You can measure it with benchmarks and such, but these machines are so fast and it's, it's video, every story, you know, admittedly, but it, it just going from an Intel machine into uh, a current M series I mean, it's night and day. I mean, it's kind of, you know, if you go back in the day, going from dial-up to DSL and then DSL to cable. And of course, what we have today with broadband. I mean, it's how do you go back? And it's, mm -hmm. you know, these systems, again, I just would argue uh, are definitely built to last. It's, it does stink that we don't have the ability to service them, certainly internally with SSDs, but because we have firewire on the outside, we can certainly add high-speed storage. And with OS 15, it, I, I would call it a really significant leap for recognition. And I, I know Apple's got other uh, you know, thoughts in terms of where they're going in the future, what they want people to pay for, and perhaps a more cloud uh, base. But being able to connect the high-speed external drive over SSDs, and now install your applications. And effectively, you can have all your data other than the, uh, you keep the OS on the internal system for performance, but not being dependent on the internal drive anymore for your applications and be able to have these soft documents, photos, et cetera, that, that does give you know, at, at least a, a, a really good option uh, compared to spending uh, you know, a, a big premium to have that storage internally.